Alright, welcome back in, yo. Sorry for that mishap that we had happen, having to restart everything, but still the same matchup and everything, still the same thing on the line. Just a few roster changes to fix everything up, so hopefully this stream goes smoothly. And welcome back in, Gorilla. Still the same guy with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here to annoy y'all. Uh, only Beard does that, don't worry. <laughs> Arizona State will be kicking off and you can just we're gonna see UCF get the ball again I believe it started with the last time too so that's still consistent he's taken down do they fumble already oh <laughs> I just saw a huge scramble back for a minute I thought there was a dog pile for the ball <laughs> hopefully it doesn't start out like that I'm not getting the full wide shotgun so does Ike Gonna air it downfield, lobbing it, and oh man, almost picked to start it off. For one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Thankfully, for Ike, just batted away. Yeah, new life here, so UCF is gonna. Second down and ten to go. I mean, the game was still close at least before. That is true. That is true. So. If anything, it could get worse off for them, I think. So, oh my God, as you see that. Yeah. And you can give him a second. I don't know about you, but I can hear. Uh, the game commentators on my side. Oh, I can't hear them. I don't have the stream up either, so... A lot of the credit for this big play but I don't hear them in our stream. Okay. Well, I'm... A might good pass able... there. Sorry for missing that play. I was trying to... Oh, yeah, it went back up. <laughs> yeah, it's probably on the stream side, so like the one on Twitch. And they can still hear us fine, right? That makes it first and ten. Yeah, yeah I, I can hear you and everything. I just I could hear some game commentary. Got you. Coming out here in the dual shotgun halfback set now. Gonna hit his man, Milton, who's gonna pick up the first down. And UCF already having a pretty decent start here. I'm not getting the full wide shotgun set is Ike. Gonna throw down the middle, hit his man, touchdown, Boucher. Quick start there for UCF. It looks like Boucher is saying that they can hear us just fine. Alright, sounds good then. We should be good. But what a quick and fast start from UCF there. Yeah, a completely different start compared to last, so it'll be a good game. For sure. So we're going to see the return for 19 yards by Zumi there. That was an interesting play there, but Tamir gets it back to the line of scrimmage, bringing up second and ten. <laughs> Gus Lake on the tackle for loss there. I'm not getting the pistol set now, it's Dane. Gonna try to take off and run with it, has space, gets off one man, but is brought down quickly after bringing up third and two. Okay, it's you. you know, gotta start pounding that ball a lot more. I'm not getting the pistol, so you're gonna run it up the middle to Tamari, gain a four there. I'm not getting the full wide shotgun, said his Dane. 
plenty of time for him. Gonna throw it over to his man on the out route, but deflected away. Good deflection there by the UCF defense, bringing up second and ten. Good, good play there. We had to break it fast. And set up the screenplay here, and oh man, he just aired the crap out of that one. Third and ten upcoming. Game starting out a little slow. You know, I'm just throwing a couple away. He had a pocket there collapsing, but able to hit his man for a gain of three, bringing up fourth and seven for ASU. Definitely not the start that I was expecting, but you know, good for UCF to hold him. Coming back here to UCF, return from the 25, gets it up to the 36 is Dusty Wilkes. Man on that route again. That's Bobby Boucher for another five. Bring up second and five here for UCF. I'm sorry, I had to look away for a minute there. You're just fine. Coming out again. The pistol set now is like gonna throw over to his man. Dusty works for a gain of two. Bring up third and three for this UCF team. He just had no time on that, so he's lucky he even get that one off. And he gained some yardage off of it, don't man. Gonna hit his man, and oh man, if he didn't come- Oh, way to fight, even after he came back for it. I was about to say, if only he didn't have to come back for it, but man. He made me eat my words before I even said him. Yeah, I'm that's good. That. He said his like. Good comeback. Definitely. Gonna hit his man here. Down the middle, that's Boucher again for eight. Boucher already getting his receptions in early. Make the handoff here. Ike has a lot of space in front of him, and he's taken off. Gain of 15 there in the first. Good run there. Um, yeah, I mean, just all around good run. <laughs> You know, just to drop it down and see the open field. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set. Oh, what a hit there on Milton. And once again, ASU bringing the hits and the disrespect. Look at that pile around him. <laughs> yeah, Yogi's definitely making his presence known. Early on in the game. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set, motioning Milton down, gonna hit his man on the angle route. That's Uncle Swoosh. Gain of 13, bringing up third and short. Third and down. Two tights, two tights. And again, UCF having a pretty decent drive here. Um, momentum is in their favor. Coming out here in the pistol set, motioning. They're tight end down, going to hit Milton for a gain of three, bringing up a first down for UCF. First down. Arizona definitely needing to make a uh, defensive stop here, for sure. Coming out here in the pistol set now is Ike. He's going to throw over that way, and oh man, you almost wow. jinxed that into happening. <laughs> Second and ten up coming off that deflection. Yeah, good, good deflection there. Way to read the play by uh, Big Hoss. I believe that's who that was. Totally sound like you're about to say pillow. I think you're getting tired out here. <laughs> Milton with a gain of seven there, bringing up third and three. Yes, yeah, so you definitely need to pick it up. Yeah. They have a better defense than they're showing as of right now. 
Yep, as it throws it on the slant route, it hits swoosh for the TD, making this a 14-0 game for UCF, barring the extra point. Who knew a couple roster changes could just bring the momentum right back into UCF's favor. I hope Kane's trying to do the curses already. He wants to stay undefeated. <laughs> Looks like Beard is barely jumping in because he's not sure what's going on. I think. Beard's about to have his team blasted from the playoffs in one night. He's not excited. We had to restart because of roster changes. Beard. So now you get to cry watching UCF take a lead against ASU. <laughs> Also, when it was, they also made a comeback regardless in that game. It was 20 to, uh, or 17 to 10 at one point. Mac, shut up, bro. I swear to God, you always try to jinx us every week. <laughs> Coming out here in the shotgun set, Dane's going to throw over to his man on the out route. That's how Drizzy for four, bringing up third and six here for Arizona State. Did you see we won in goals, by the way, Mac? We beat the Boston three to one. Gonna hand it off here to Tamer, who's gonna get tackled after a gain of eight, bringing up a first down. Gonna have to restart again, I got the wrong cleats on. <laughs> second time, you said something like that earlier, you said he had the wrong jersey number. <laughs> Coming out here in the empty set, gonna motion Tamer back in, faking the handoff to him, and Dane looked like he was gonna take off, but hit Al Drizzy for seven instead, bringing up second and three. Lee <laughs> Lee is supposed to be wide receiver one. Three down, three down. Hey, watch this. And now y'all Coming out here in the empty set, three wide, or five wide, I'm dumb, three to the bottom, two to the top is what I meant to say. But Dane runs over two people like bowling pins to pick up the first down, bringing up uh, the f from the 49 of UCF. So you're making me QB next game then, right, Mac? As we're going to see Dane get sacked for a loss of five here by Gus Lake. He said, I want to make an impact still. Yeah, definitely uh, want to get his name put out there again. Coming out here in the full wide shock and say, oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> As Dane's gonna get sacked again for a loss of five. Third and 20. We got Canes out here clothes shopping while calling a game at the same time. <laughs> Saw the shirt. <laughs> yeah, he's out there trying to look at jerseys and whatnot. He said, This game isn't that important to me. I just want the jersey. As that was Jones on the set. He's already letting it get to his head, saying, Oh, yeah, we've got this game. I'm just gonna go shopping. <laughs> This is the reason why they're losing, because he's not watching. He's too interested in shopping for jerseys. He says, we're going to see Dane Jones get sacked again. Gus Lake again as well. Crazy. Fourth and 27 for ASU. Al Drizzy, you need to get off after your coach, bro. He's too interested in jersey shopping instead of watching the game. So we're going to see the return here from the 27, gain of 7 there for Rooks. He pulled a Kyler Murray, except he's playing Fortnite instead of Call of Duty, huh? He said, mind your business. Hey, you're the one that keeps pulling it up for us to see. <laughs> Come out here in the four wide shotgun <laughs> set. <laughs> what Cowboy Jim says. So we're going to see ABJ pick up a gain of 5, bringing up 2nd and 5 for UCF. If I want jerseys, I'd make my own. Oh, so he's making jerseys. Okay, so he's in Photoshop. <laughs> there he is, bro. Oh, that's a terrible drop right there. But they get another chance on 3rd and 5 at least. Make it a purple jersey now because he said orange. Being too demanding out here. So we're going to see Jordan Johnson lose five there, bringing up four for nine for UCF and a punt.
We forgot to say for the right price. Oh wait, that's um Paul talking. <laughs> Return here from the twenty. Gets it out to the thirty-three is Zumi Anderson. I can't make it on the game and make real ones. I think they wanted a real one. Oh no, Max talking about in the game. Alright, coming out here in the shotgun set is Dane and oh man. I thought he was about to moss that. That would have been crazy if Kenny mossed it. That makes it second and ten. I am still yeah. frozen. Oh. oh. I haven't seen the last oh. couple plays. Hopefully it comes back for you as Tamir breaks off a s uh, tackle on a screen play to pick up two, bringing up third and eight. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set now is Dane. I'm back. He's going to throw it down the middle. Hit Tamir and he's going to push forward and fight for the first down. What a play there. It almost looked like he was gonna break off that second one for a second. To... Gus says he doesn't allow that. Dane's gonna throw it down the middle, hit his man, Willie really Six. I believe that's his first pitch. Yeah. When he gets catches, he gets them deep. Uh, dang. Uh, Dane's gonna take off running here for seven yards. Making it second and three for ASU. My dang phone tried to make me buy bits there for a minute. Making the handoff here to Tamar, and he has a lot of open space here. Dane is seven again. Into the red zone is Dane. Cause that's gonna probably, nah, no accelerate the clock there, so they're gonna get another playoff and then we'll go to the end of the first. Oh, man, he keeps having a rough time disconnecting from the internet must be having issues tonight. Yep, see, it's all Kane's fault. Bring, blame Kane's for not getting the rate rosters in to start with. You were doing perfectly fine then. But that's gonna bring us to the end of the first with your score 14 UCF and nothing Arizona State as it definitely took a different turn on the restart. Coach out here in the full wide shotgun said is Dane gonna motion to Mare out. And his man and now route, that's out Jersey again for a gain of five, bring it up third and five. Third and right here in the four wide shot can sit. Run up the middle for Dane and he breaks off three people to take down to the end zone. Crazy. As this makes it a 14 to 7 game, barring the extra point, and UCF will get the ball back to try to switch, change momentum back into their favor. Alright, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You were always in here for me. <laughs> oh, weird, yeah, that's what I disconnected and I couldn't hear anything anymore. I think it does that on PC, it still says you're in here when your internet's being dumb and then it like kicks you automatically as we see Rooks with a 26 yard return there. Ew, it drew freaking beard before me, that's disgusting. <laughs> so we're gonna see UCF come out here in the pistol set, throw it down the middle to Bobby Boucher for five yards, bring up second and five. You're really trying to make that curse come to action, aren't you? I'm not saying nothing about it because you're trying to lure me into it again. I already know how you are, Kings. You've been figured out. Yeah, definitely don't uh, 
say anything to curse or drink anything for that game. Coming out here in the pistol set is Ike. Gonna throw it on to the... Oh, what a break off the tackle there by Cook to pick up the first down. Why did you screw up the sim? Wait, how are you gonna blame me? I do nothing with the sim. Blame Kings. He clearly don't want to win. Yeah, Kings probably did that. Lost or screw up on purpose because he knew he was gonna win. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of that, Kings, you fixed the coach settings, right? Because I remember Kickler saying you had to restart it. You didn't have it on stream, so I don't know if you ever fixed it or not. What? Just to no, make sure before we get too deep into this reason. game again. Well, that's why I went. Okay, that's, that's why I went to check. <laughs> that's why I went to check before we got near halftime again, because I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> Aaron Ike with a five-yard rush here, making it third and five. It's funny because we both said we didn't want to call two games a night, and then immediately we basically are. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Knight coming out here in the shotgun set, hits his man down the middle for the first, that's Milton. So, if UCF happened to win this game, I would assume that knocks Arizona down the poles, but it doesn't do anything to their playoff chances, does it? Since they're finished, no. right? Yeah, they're, all, they're already in the playoffs because of the conference record and being undefeated, obviously, so... Okay, that's, that's you mess it up, but I'm but... sticking with it. That's real. You know what, Beard? I'm gonna just get a pick six on you tonight because I feel like it. you're just screwing with me too much tonight, man. You're gonna add to my pick six parade. Bringing up a third and ten here for UCF. Or should we drop only one other team has one loss? Well, I mean, I wasn't really confirming you drop either, but I think he was saying that's the only thing that could happen out of this if you lose, I think is what he meant. First and ten here for Boucher. Again, UCF. But just for you asking, we're gonna. No, you're good. I was gonna say just for him asking, we're gonna make Arizona State drop regardless now. Everyone put, uh, everyone vote uh, ASU to be number sixteen to end this season off with. Or whatever the lowest number is, I forget. It's 16 because that's where my team's at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't forget, so it's a good thing you're here to help me. Third and six here for UCF. Yeah, that's kind of hard to forget, you know, when it just stares at you in the face. That throw was all over the place there, bringing up fourth and six. He's lucky there was no secondary back there. up and good for UCF making this a 10 point game with under 7 minutes left to go in the second <laughs> you're coming for that ADS yes, huh? <laughs> nice little scene found there by Zumi for a 40 yard return he's been one of the most consistent long like runners on the kick return he always gets at least 30 Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed that. Like, yeah, no, I mean, on occasion he'll get, you know, a short little uh, return, but most of the time he, he does fairly well. <laughs> no, no, you can't be ranked higher than a team you lost to. It was on the podcast. Okay, so Arizona State number 11 next week sounds like a plan. Oh, what a play! <laughs> Nice deflection there by Bomber, right there. Bringing up second and 15 here for Arizona State. I have heard people calling you out saying you're sounding sus, so just saying. <laughs> Dana 7 there for Dane, bringing up third and eight. Here in the pistol set now is Dane going to hit his man down the middle and they do have enough for the first, that's Willie Six. Yeah, 
No, that was an old Miss style dropped interception right there. I oh, whoops, I forgot my like partners that. and stuff. My fault, I forgot you. No, I'm just kidding. I had to because you were in here. I always <laughs> mess with you. You're only saying that because I'm a safety, so... <laughs> You're just calling <laughs> me out. <laughs> Don't worry, we're the safety brothers. You just need... Um... To learn how to use your hands, it happens to the best of us. Enigma with a 25 yard catch there, bringing up a first and 10, his first grab of the night. Alright, mute that man. Beard's being a little too crazy in the chat right now. Mute him. He can't talk anymore the rest of the night. Tony needs to moderate that man. Yeah, where's the mods? Can't be talking like this in the Twitch <laughs> chat. Breaking off one tackle there is Dane, but only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Bringing up second and ten, Tommy Guns on the tackle. Beard says he's unmutable. Only in your dreams, buddy. I deafen you every time you join the call because I can't stand the sound of your voice. As we see Tamer here with a gain of four on the second down play, bringing up third and six. No, you're broken, Matt Phillips. <laughs> it's all Kane's fault. Yeah. He's too worried about jersey making. Yeah, he's too worried. He's too worried about jersey making instead of game planning. He told me this himself. <laughs> Fourth and seven here on another sack. Ramsey Jones with his second of the night. We are waiting for the restart. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Is that the... <laughs> See, I told y'all yeah. I, I told y'all I stole him from his wife. I knew he had a crush on you from the last time we called a game. He <laughs> calls up and good for Arizona State. And now the score is flipped from what it was last time when we restarted, and that's very interesting. That is interesting. At about this point is then where it had to end, so it's gonna be yeah. interesting to see where it goes from here. Chokes on who she's been. <laughs> oh my god! And I wow! In this weird stuff. <laughs> he likes being watched. And it's probably just that thing, right? Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set is Ike. He's going to throw it on the out route to his man Boucher for three yards, bringing up third and long. I was just about to comment something about UCL, but it would have probably jinxed it, so I'm going to continue. <laughs> yeah, if it was a screenplay, you jinxed it happening indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to scream and all that. <laughs> guys, this is Twitch chat. Take it down to PG-13. Come on now. Okay. Hey, we can just call it a bathing suit stream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the hot tub after, so we can still do it on Twitch. <laughs> oh my god. First and ten for ASU here coming out in the dual halfback shotgun so gonna fake it to Tamara and gonna throw it down the middle and Enigma is taken off. That's not Enigma, that's all Jersey, but there is a flag so that might be coming back with clipping. And it is Sorry, my stream was kinda lagging there for a minute, so it made it look like it was Enigma for me. But Enigma was the one caught on clipping, so yeah, mine's been lagging for me basically ever since I froze that first time. So. <laughs> Beard, bro. Get out of here. Coming out here in a four wide shotgun set. Gonna be sacked for a seven by Dane. I mean, I said by Dane, by Ronnie. That'll make it second and long. <laughs> the matter, Ronnie. <laughs> Oh my god. We can promote our other channel on their beard. 
Yeah, Beard, you're, you're supposed to quit talking or I'm gonna have to run you over with the case tractor. That's that's what I'm being told. We <laughs> came up 7 by Willie 6 after the slant play, bringing up 3rd and 11. <laughs> Coming out here in the screenplay for Tamarin, he's going to be able to pick up the first down. Very interesting there. I don't want to know what you're doing with your feet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even commentate the game, it's making me laugh too much. Tank gets sacked for a loss of 7 by guns there, bringing up 2nd and 17. And then we got Al Drizzy saying, I work on those angles. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna route the middle here for Dane Jones, breaks off two people and then gets brought down from behind after a gain of six, bringing up third and eleven. Basically just gained his yards back that he just lost. Go sleek on the tackle as well. <laughs> Coming down to the two minute warning in this first half. And they're not able to pick up the first with Tamir. Interested to see if they think about going for it here on fourth and six. Nah, they're just going to take the three. I, mean, I would say go for three. It's pending. Now we get to sit here for 20 seconds as they milk the clock. Yeah, just let that drain down. Take it into halftime. Regroup. I mean, they kind of turned it on here at the end of the second, so I don't know if we have to say re. It goes up, and it is good, making this a 17 to 13 game. You see, I'm definitely gonna. Honestly, they're gonna work as hard as they can to score here. I would assume. Try to stretch the lead before half. Definitely, as we see Kenny with a 26 yard return there. Or would you say that they waste some clock? I mean, what? I'm, I'm not sure what I would do in the situation. I mean, they have time to try to do something, but see, they took a sack here, so now I would waste time. But instead, they say screw both of you and call a timeout, which is very interesting. I would not be the one to call a timeout after losing seven yards. Oh, way to break off like three people there to watch him still call a timeout. No, now ASU's going to use it, so see, that's a bad thing. Now they're probably going to hand it off here and then end up giving ASU the ball back with the timeout lift. Oh, he's going to throw it down the middle. Hits his man, and they do. Oh, they don't. ABJ tried his best but couldn't break off the last guy in his way. And that leaves ASU a minute left on the clock with one timeout. Wow, well, I'm surprised they're not going for it just to keep ASU's offense off the field. AI isn't that smart. <laughs> Especially when they're winning. Dane's going to do what he does best and take off with the football and gets it past the midfield and out of bounds, so he holds on to that timeout. Yeah, I mean, definitely good uh, time management there to be able to get out of bounds on that one. Throw down the middle here, hits this man out Drizzy and that puts him in field goal range. Now they have to hurry up to the line and try to see if they want to take more and take this lead in the half, which would be a huge steal for ASU. 
definitely a big turnaround if that were the case. Oh! oh they called that a fumble! I didn't think he held onto that ball at all long enough for that to be a fumble. What? Yeah, it didn't even look like he made the so-called <laughs> football move, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, he, he just did They gotta replay that. that. They gotta replay that. That's a huge play right there. They're not going to either. And that leaves UCF with 80 yards to drive and two timeouts with 30 seconds left. And they do it. This man for a gain of nine, that's Uncle Swoosh. Making his presence known again. Philbin doing what Philbin does best. Sorry, I had to look away for a minute. And they're just going to let the clock leak now. Coming out here in the empty set, though, so probably a last second Hail Mary Troy, which is very interesting from the 20 yard line. <laughs> as long as they don't call a screen, I guess. Darn off his back foot, too. Almost intercepted, but that will take us to half time with your score. UCF 17, Arizona State 13. And, I mean, I'm going to say this straight up. I high-key think Arizona State should have um, stolen that lead into halftime. They didn't look like the better team this half, but they turned it on in the second quarter. So, it's definitely going to be an interesting finish to this game. What did you see out of it? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I agree with you on that one that, you know, I don't think he had possession. Definitely don't think that was a fumble. Um, from what I'm seeing, you know, both teams, you know, even, the offensive line, you just need to pick it up and, get, and give your quarterback some more time to just let the play develop, whether it's running or passing the ball. Yeah, as you see, they're pretty close in, rush, in uh, total yards as well. UCF with no rush yards is crazy. Yeah, that, I, I did not realize they had no rush yards. So that is a interesting stat to see. There's only been the one turnover that shouldn't have been a turnover, so both teams have been playing um, clean ball. Yeah, I agree. Still a bad call, but uh, it's the AI, so I mean, do we really expect them to review it? Not really. The UCF Knights has lined up for the kickoff. The kickoff. Anderson, Anderson deep to return. To return. So we're going to see ASU get the ball here. Nice little return there for Al Drizzy up to the 25. Let's see what the uh, halftime talks did for both teams. I'm right here in the four wide shot and set throw down the middle to Al Drizzy again. Gain of eight there, bringing up second and two. Yeah, good game, way to start off strong. I'm gonna have to step away for a minute. So you're stepping away. Right. Yeah, I'm back now. You're good. My fault. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set is Dane. Gonna run up the middle here, picking up the first down on third and short. No, I'm still here, Beard. Sorry. I had to look at something. <laughs> Nickname in high school was. Bo oh my god. I almost said that on stream. Bro's gonna get me demonetized. Or get ECFL demonetized. 
Give me a gain of four there. Interim. Yeah, he's trying to get me kicked out of the booth. <laughs> yeah. Suspended for the rest of the season out of the booth. Take off to Tamara there, throwing over to Aldrizzi who gets hit after as soon as he catches it, bringing up third and short here. Mega really, you should say that. That sounds, that sounds very uh, weird. You should say it, Gorilla. Don't be scared. I'm not saying it! <laughs> <laughs> and his man out wide. That is bodacious for 20 yards and a first. His first catch of the night finally getting him involved. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that proves it that Beard has a crush on you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, uh, Dane's going to take off with it down the sideline. Picks up a gain of, I want to say, probably 15 or so there. Bring up a first down for ASU. <laughs> Thought we established that. <laughs> Fair enough, Beard. At least you admit it. Finally admits it. Only took him a month. Motioning Tamer down here. Gonna throw it to his man in the end zone and Nigma catches it for the touchdown. And ASU has their first lead of the night. Seven minutes into the third. Oh man, you didn't tell me he gave you a promise ring. How sweet. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Paul said and that does it. I think Paul's gonna mute Beard now. Ow. I thought he was talking about... But see, Paul's out here being serious, we are not. Paul's the example to all of us. Return here from the goal line, gets it up to the... Oh, finds a seam, breaks off one man and gets it up to the 40, that's Dusty Rooks. Yeah, great return. Um, they've been able to find a seam like that, it's uh, pretty impressive. Is that not Paul? Because now you're speaking in third person. <laughs> Throw over here on the out route to his man Jordan Johnson for 11 yards and a first. His second catch of the night. <laughs> oh my god. Faking the hand off here to Milton and Ike has space on the outside, breaks off two people and then gets brought down after, bring up second and three. So is it, um, go ahead. What I was going to say is Aaron definitely needs to have the offensive line to uh, do some more blocking if he's got negative average yard with eight rushes. Yeah. <laughs> he also had no time to throw there and just had to air it out of bounds. Is that Kane's then? Oh, it's Aaron? <laughs> Ike's gonna take off a run with it, but cannot pick up the first to gain of one, bring up fourth and short. Interested to see if they go for it here. They do not. UCF is not playing aggressive like this is a must-win game for them. They've had plenty of opportunities to go for it. And here's definitely one where they should have done it. Nice little coffin corner punt there. Yeah, oh, definitely right needs at the inch. Wow. Tamara gains a yard there. Make that two since it counted as the inch mark technically. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Not a good spot to be if you're ASU. <laughs> Did you see that UCF mascot dancing on the side like that? <laughs> yeah. Is there going to be a flag? You can't take a clipping this far. That better not be clipping. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Jones 
I'm gonna fight whoever's on that ECFL account. Y'all messing with me. They didn't even accept it. That's weird. I probably would have accepted that because they had a good game there. Could have helped them get the potential safety, which they almost did, but Dane was smart and threw it away. Bringing up fourth and four. And that drain and uh, drive is uh, over as quickly as it started. And gets a return up to the 34 as he gets laid out after that. Rooks with a 10 yard return. What are you talking about, Beard? Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set now is Ike. Gonna throw it down the middle, hit his man Boucher for four yards, bringing up second and six. Maybe on your bed, Beard. Already good field advantage for UCF here. Yeah, already at the 30, that's huge for them. Especially when they need a field goal to tell them. But they definitely want this touchdown with how good field position they had. But that goes nowhere, bringing up third and five. I'm gonna pull to see who guesses who this is. I never know. I would say Canes, but it's not talking like Canes. Was this the same person that told me it was Paul and it wasn't? Because. I always thought it was Paul since the first day that was said. As Ike gets sacked almost out of field goal position, and it makes it way harder now from the 39. I always hey, thought no. it was you on the East Coast. Kings. Oh my God, they're punting it. Jeez. What? <sighs> UCF does not want to win this game, man. They are throwing. They didn't even try the field goal. And this time is going to be a touch big. Definitely. This chat is happening in uh, Texas for me. I don't know about Gorilla. Yeah, I'm northwest of you. He uh, kind of forgot where he lived for a moment. Good. Forgive him. <laughs> I, I did. I'm a little slow. That's. <laughs> So I quit the tackle there after getting a 12 for Tamir. Al Jersey for a gain of four, bringing up second and six for ASU now. I'm not hearing the pistol set now, motioning Tamir down. Dane has time to throw, gonna hit his man down the middle, but broken up as he got sandwiched between two defenders there. Oh, Ike. <laughs> I'm over uh, here in Idaho, and I think the closest people to me are probably the Stern Bros. Oh my god, Tamir's bullying every defender, and is coming back for clipping. I love how I don't even have to wait for the call anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what the call is anymore, like 95% of the time. Or like 99.99, .99, unless a man jumps off sides or moves. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Beard is definitely oh. insulting tonight. <laughs> I just read that. I wish I didn't. <laughs> Oh, what a play by Tamir again, bro. He is fighting for this ASU team right now. Well, he is wanting to pull this game ahead and get the W. It's probably because of where the foul took place, but because they technically still lost yards since they would have had the first down, Mr. Whoever's on ECFL. Second and one upcoming here from the 49 of UCF. Coming out in the empty set here is Dane gonna motion to Mare behind him for the read option or pitch option, and he's gonna take it all the way to the house for six. 
And now ASU's running away with the game as UCF said they didn't feel like winning this game. I'm pretty sure if they lose, they're eliminated. I believe from what Kings had said, they had to win and TCU yeah. had, had to lose, I believe. Yeah. So, brings up an interesting fourth quarter upcoming soon for UCF, see if they can battle their way back into it, but they're not playing like they have a spot in the line here. Yeah, Turn here from the goal line. Not playing aggressive enough. Is it up to the 22? Yeah, I mean, those two punts were silly. The one at the 38 that turned into a touchback. Like, that only gave him a net gain of 18. Like, you have to, like, at least try the field goal there, even if it is a little long. Especially with how Arizona State's been playing. Yeah, UCF just, uh, their game plan is just not working for them the way it was at the beginning of the game. Step pass is going to be broken up, bringing up a third and seven for UCF here. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set. I'm always boring on Mondays, sorry. Bringing up fourth and yeah, five that's... here for Aaron Ike. Bring up and Monday, cut him some slack, it's fine. <laughs> Pretty sure they're just messing with me anyway. It's probably someone I know on the ECFL account. So they're gonna get up I to don't. midfield here, Zoomy. I don't know anybody who runs the ECFL account. I don't ever really pay attention to it. And so that might be Julian. <laughs> I don't know. It's Kane's or Kickler for sure. Especially because they said that, because now they're trolling me. I won't even be surprised if it was Beard. Jumping back from account to account. <laughs> oh my god. Coming out here in the dual halfback shotgun set is Dane, and he's just gonna launch that one out of play, bring it up second and ten. Nails, you definitely gonna try to pull away and. Take off on him with the game. They score here. And now, on the screen play is Tamir, and he's going to lose a yard there, bringing up third and 11. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and 11. They're still calling you boring. God, he said yawn and made me yawn. Oh, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out here, the Coming out here in the four wide shotgun sit. Throw over to Tamer. And he picks up the first down. He's still going down the sideline. Gets it down to the 26. Tamer for a 25 yard gain there. Dang, he's almost over 100 yards receiving this game. Yeah, he's having a heck of a game. He is not wanting to uh, let UCF take one of those playoff spots. I'm now here in the dual halfback shotgun set and just throws it out of play. Nah, that's not Ted. It feels Ted is never that mean. They call me boring, so it's definitely someone else. Come out here in the four wide shotgun set is Dane. Breaks off one man and then gets brought down from behind for a loss of three. That is Stern with his first sack of the night. Ted was in chat um, last game and then disappeared this game. Ted retired. Hmm. Oh, dang it, I hate whoever said yawn. Screw you. Whoever's on ECFL right now. Throw down the middle, hits his man Willie Six for the touchdown. Arizona State just pulled away with this in the second half.
Yeah. Pain and pain. They are a second half team, so that is why they're falling, <laughs> falling away. Yeah, it was a very interesting start to the game, but that's right. Can you stop, bro? <laughs> Gotta make me go again. Return here up to the 23 is bombard. A 21 yard return. Stop it yawning up here in the booth. You're gonna piss me off. But I know, making me go and fall asleep during this freaking stream. Coming out here in the shotgun, suddenly was like, throw down the middle, hits his man for eight yards. That is ABJ again. He doesn't have that big of an impact as he did in the first uh, run. Yeah, definitely not a name we've seen a whole lot of. Yeah, motioning the tight end down. He's going to throw it deep here and hits his man on the vert. That is Rooks for 38 yards and a first. That makes it first and 10. I'm going to kill him. Dude, I, yeah, right. I, I just yawned again. We're going to lose whoever's on the ECFL account, so. ECFL's done after this game. Sorry, yo. <laughs> I mean, Gorilla is taking care of it. Like throwing down the middle here and almost picked off by Zumi, but dropped. Second and ten upcoming for UCF. I mean, if UCF wants any chance of coming back, they've got to definitely be paying attention and, and playing a lot more aggressive. See, this is why I think Beard's the one on it. Yeah, it's definitely Beard, bro. Because <laughs> now he's saying the same thing. Third and ten upcoming for UCF here. <laughs> makes Dion with one count, jumps to the next, makes Dion again. <laughs> we also have eight there on that screenplay. And that will bring us to the end of the fourth with your or the end of the third with your score, UCF seventeen, Arizona State thirty-four. You know what time it is, Gorilla. It is time to throw some fours up in there, Biatch. Look, he's even saying want to put money on it like the ECFL account did earlier. He's not, no. <laughs> like, he's throwing down the field here. Hits his man who's wide open for the touchdown. That's a huge play. I believe that was on fourth down, too, wasn't it? To Dusty Rooks there. Yeah, he wide open. Nobody man. He said one account wasn't enough to troll him. Julian, you can suck a fat one, bro. I mean, UCF's only down 10, so I mean, and there's plenty of game left, so... Like Return from the goal good. line. Here up to the 33 is really 6. And a 29-yard return. Jesus Christ, you all are a bunch of trolls, bro. <laughs> Coming out here in the four wide yeah, shotgun set of bullies. Fake, faking the handoff to Tamara and then gonna shove off a couple guys on a gain of four, bringing up second and six. Yeah, see, they'd all be crying if I left, though, so that's a funny thing. They'll be okay. Coming out here in the pistol set now is. Dane gonna be the quick wide receiver screen and he's intercepted and this is a huge turnaround of this game he's breaking off one man two men and takes it to the end zone and just like that this is a three point game after Jason Breeze takes it back for six just like that we have a game Julian came in here and then just turned the game around good job Julian <laughs> If you want me to be toxic, Beard, I will. I will blast your quarterback into f the next century. Don't play with me. <laughs> Kane said, get out of here, Julian. <laughs> I mean, and what, y'all are, are talking about Jaheim behind his back, bro. I'm going to tell him to join the booth and start calling games and see how y'all like it. Oh, see, and Ted just happens to hop, pop up back in chat. <laughs> Somebody in here. Beard, 
Yeah, you're the one who has a crush on me, bro. Relax. Gain a seven there for ASU. Bring up second and three. Diddle with his first catch of this game. <laughs> Cannot take this league serious. I'm not here in the empty set. Three to the top, two to I mean, the bottom. Not nights like this. It's uh, hard to take it serious. <laughs> Yeah, what a hit there though, but Bodace just holds on to it, bringing up first down for ASU. Oh my Beard god. You almost dude. made me say some weird stuff there for a minute. <laughs> and I was like, no, I can't say that. This is gonna sound so weird. How Drizzy with an eight yard catch there, bringing up second and two. Why did this man post a Dorito? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get people to like him. Coming out here in the pistol set, hand off to Tamari, running to the outside, picks up the first down on a gain of three. Well, I mean, it you seems like know, you don't mind you either, beard. beard. Yeah. <laughs> Coming out here in the four wide pistol set is Dane. Gets hit before he can throw it, sacked by Gus Lake again, that's his third of the night. ASU tried yeah. to come back out. Now UCF is trying. I mean, this is going to be a close one at the end, I think. Definitely. <laughs> Here in the empty set, motioning to Mary down now. Going to throw it on the slant to Nigma for four yards, bringing up third and long. That's one name we haven't heard a lot tonight, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, he's got three receptions, I think it said, so definitely not a name that we've seen a whole lot of. Oh my god. This chat is something else. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set now, three to the top, one to the bottom. Halfback draw to Tamara, and he's almost going to get to the first, but 10 yard gain, bringing up fourth and short. Now, see if Arizona State decides to be aggressive. I would in this situation, and they're not going to. They're yeah, not game. going to. Yeah, this game has not been aggressive at all for either sides. Wonder if they can get them down at the half mark here like they were earlier, but nope. Touchback starting at the 20. <laughs> this is definitely UCF's chance to make something happen. Yep, coming out here in the pistol set is Ike. Gonna throw over to his man on the out route, Boucher, for three yards. I thought he was about to throw it to that halfback who was covered. Eight gonna throw it down the middle and miss his man by about a couple inches high. I honestly thought you were gonna say you missed him by a mile. I was like, not really, but okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Throw down the middle or to the outs route hits Boucher for eight yards in the first. This freaking chat is distracting me right now. No, I need to turn it off. <laughs> Come out here in the four wide shotgun set, three to the top, one to the bottom. Ike gonna throw it down to his man on the in route that's Milton for seven yards, bring up second and short. <laughs> Why did I even look in chat again? Coming out here in the pistol set, faking the handoff is like... Oh, that is not what you want to see if you're UCF, and... Time to see if they can stop him at least, and they will, but... This is a bad spot to put your defense in. Matt Phillips with the interception, clutch play by him, as he is known to do. Yeah, and uh... UCF still just playing kind of the way they have been. Um, not really playing with much focus, much aggression. And the yardage difference is almost double for ASU. Throwing on the curl route there to Diddle for seven yards, bringing up second and short for ASU.
You're in the full load like, truck instead. I would almost like to see a defensive stop just to see if they can do it. Yeah, that'd be interesting, but who drinks stand to not happening as Dane Jones runs up the middle for a touchdown. Technically, Kane jinked it, jinxed it because, like, in the first quarter, he said it was a 14 0 curse. Oh, Kane started that, not Beard, so. I won't give the credit to Beard this time, although I should since he's being really weird right now. <laughs> My god, bro. <laughs> Taking it out of the end zone here is. Rooks for 25 yards. Jesus Christ. Once again, UCF down by 10, and really need to make something happen here with not much time to go. Listen, y'all, it is not late night ECFL right now. You have to wait till it's past midnight to start talking like this, okay? ABJ with no gain there, bringing up second and 10. Y'all are up past midnight. I'm, I'm like an adult. I'm gonna sleep by like nine o'clock. You're an old person. <laughs> Come out here in the empty set, five wide. Motion the tight end down, making it four to the top, one to the bottom. Was well, gonna set up for the wide receiver screen, but that was denied instantly by. Matt Phillips and Philbin gets the sack for that. Uh, UCF just uh, not playing with the type of aggression that they need against this ASU defense. Third and long here coming out on the pistol set. Gonna throw it down the middle and he heard what you said and said, yeah, watch this. Boucher picks up 16 yards and the first. Welcome with a stick, Rodrigo. That does not say <laughs> Jesus. You're in the four wide shotgun set, three to the bottom, one to the top. Taking the handoff here, gonna throw it on the out route to his man Johnson for ten, bring up second and inches. That'll make it second and inches. Wondering if Kane's even no, turned to celebrate the clock one because I have not seen that celebrate clock go in another oh. INT by this ASU defense and he's taking that back all the way. That is for Sean Carter. He had a huge play the last game too before he said so. Glad to see him get it back. Well, Kane's is calling ball game already. Mm. Hard not to with Three minutes left, and you're down. Seventeen points. Yeah. Wait, sir, just give you all three at the start. Barnes has seemed to run up here, he gets it up to the 43 as Dusty Rooks. He said don't count us out of it just yet. Yeah, trying to keep him in the game. We're going to do so. And that's your chance. Let's go to turn. Good hit there. There's two INTs by I have changed this game completely. Mike's going to run up the middle here, he gets a gain of one, bringing up third and nine. Boucher's already calling GG's. I don't talk again when this happens. What on this? Loss of eight there on the sack by Philbin again, his third of the night. To see streamers just spamming shit though. See, I knew Ted was too nice to do that. 
He just confirmed it wasn't him on the UCFL account. I assume he doesn't mean us though, because we're commentators, not streamers. Return here from the 22 brings it up to the 36 is Zumi. Talking the kind of blowout shit in your preview, I'm not impressed. Come here, Syndrome. The fuck? Alright, y'all, relax. Shut the, yeah, shut the hell up, all of you. Y'all being stupid for nothing. Coming out here in the four wide shotgun set, three to the bottom, one to the top. I didn't even see Ted calls anything, it was someone else calling them ladies, it wasn't Ted. First and ten after a gain of 11 by Tamir. Yeah, that was, they were all picking on me, Ted, that wasn't to you. Stay there for a little bit, they were, were uh, giving you the run around. Yeah, it seems like it pissed on seems like it pissed some people off. You know, whoever put that on emote on Lee Chat, that's not gonna stop Ted. All you did was stop people who weren't doing anything. <laughs> Hand off here up the middle to Tamari breaks off one man and he's taking that all the way back for six. I almost jinxed that, but he still fell in. 56 yard touchdown run there by Tamari. I'm just clowning yeah. and taking it as serious. This game is just too far out of reach at this point for UCL. Definitely. I mean, it was looked like they had a chance, but then just all came crashing down. Booth review, but I'm pretty sure he got in before he was... Uh, no, he didn't. And be down at the inch mark, so I technically did jinx it, but it's okay. They don't need it anyway. I mean, do they really need another score here? No, not necessarily. Are they gonna score here again? Possibly. Look, look. If y'all want to be toxic, just all of you stop saying what a drag at once. They called it back. It wasn't called a touchdown slugs. I'm not hearing the four wide shotgun set now. I seriously don't think uh, Kane's turned on the accelerator clock because I have not seen it do it once. Well, says Dane's gonna steal Tamara's points and take it in for himself. I don't think he did either, but at this point, we're less than a minute, so not a huge deal. Yeah. <sighs> My God. Not everybody can bench, beard. Leave them all. <laughs> Turn for twenty-five here, up to the twenty-seven. At this point, playing for dignity. Mike's got time to throw in. Oh my god, every time I say it. <laughs> Loss of six there, bring up second and 16. Still sit, throwing down to the out route, but out of bounds, way out of play. Third and 16 upcoming. Yeah, I mean, players like that are just not... I mean, they've had too many throwaways, I think. Yep, and that's going to wrap up this game. No, never mind. You see... Why'd they call a timeout just to play? I'll never understand this game, bro. Wasted 30 I, seconds of my life. <laughs> that was stupid. Yep, why even call a timeout? Just to punt it. Like, they just want to give ASU more points. They wanted them to hit 60, I guess. Exactly, like, you're, at this point, you're just like, yeah, score some more on us, why not? Starting here from midfield, and they're just going to come out in the victory formation. UCF about to call another timeout here. <laughs> <laughs> no.
now that's going to wrap up this game with your final score. Arizona State 55, UCF 31. Now the cell clock was on because it just did it then. I guess I just didn't notice. But, um, yeah, I'd say plays of the game were those was that pick six and then that pick by uh, Matt Phillips when UCF was about to start driving to try to take the lead. What were your thoughts on it? You know, UCF definitely looks like a team that has a ton of potential. Um, you know, they mean they're a top 10 team for a reason, but just too many mistakes uh, in the end. You know, they start out strong and then they let off, try to make a comeback, and just let off big time. Um, you know, I think give them a, you know, a year or two and, you know, they could be in Arizona State's spot right now. For sure. All right, yo. We're going to wrap this up now. See you next time. Have a good night. We'll have another game here shortly. Hey, everybody, have a good night. Catch you the next one.